And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to bring out our fighters for the main event of the evening. As I said, 12 rounds of boxing for the unified super welterweight championship of the world. First, we introduce the challenger with a record of 26 wins, one loss and one draw. He has 16 wins coming by way of knockout. He has earned his place as the top super welterweight in the world and the number one contender, and he is ready to put it on on Saturday night from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Please welcome Julian J. Rock Williams. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, is the world champion with a record of 23 wins, no losses, 16 of his wins coming by way of knockout. He's the winner of the 2018 Fight of the Year. He'll be making his fifth appearance in the ring defending his title. The unified super welterweight champion of the world from Akokeek, Maryland. Here is Swift, Jared Hurd. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Fox BBC fight night main event of the evening for the unified super welterweight championship of the world swift jared hurd julian j rock williams i'm going to start this over by thanking everyone for your patience and for joining us here today outside the nation's capital jared we'll we'll start with you again um you get to fight here at home you haven't done that since 2014 you've never defended a title here how has this week and this camp been for you? Has it been stressful? Has it been fun? Are you looking forward to this one more because you've got all the fans in the crowd? Uh, most definitely, man. You know, this fight actually, uh, you know, has, has been one of my better camps because of, of, of having my hometown behind me. It actually fueled me and, you know, caused me to push while I was in the gym because I know that uh, they will be in the crowd watching me. We'll take it over here to your opponent who I know isn't too far from here. Philly isn't very far, but you've had four of your last fights on the West Coast. You get to come back here, but you get to do it in his backyard. Can that be a factor for you or for against you, rather? Uh, I don't really look too much into, you know, where we're fighting. I've been fighting on the road my whole career. This isn't the first time I fought uh, in somebody's backyard, and I don't know if it's going to be the last. As long as they're ringing, there's uh, uh, three judges and a referee, I don't really care who's, uh, who's watching. You can fight in the backyard. It's going to be the same result. How has this camp been for you in, in comparison? I know you fought for a title before. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you were preparing for a guy like Jared Hurd, a bigger guy, what were you guys working on in this camp? We, we touched on a bunch of different things, you know. Uh, not to give, go into too much detail, but we, we didn't leave no stone unturned. And uh, we had a really, really good camp. I know it sounds cliche that uh, every fighter says they had the best camp ever, but this is, I've never said that before, but this has really probably been the best camp I've ever had. And I'm in really good shape, and I'm ready to go out there and win. I know you sparred with some bigger guys, Akeem Nurse. Uh, he said he was so tired of your jab <laughs> <laughs> for this camp. It, is that a key for you, and, and was it, how important was it to fight with those bigger guys considering the size of Jarrett? Well, a jab is always the key. That's you know I'm a, uh, I think the jab is the most important punch in boxing. So it's always my key, the key to to my fights, no matter who I fight. Um, and as far as getting work with bigger guys, I always get work with bigger guys. That's that's not nothing new. All right. Let's move on to to our co-feature, Mario. I think we'll see if your microphone's working over there. Um, for this camp, I know you worked up with Virgil Hunter. You guys worked you worked with Snack, right? Um, what did you guys focus on specifically? Um, as usual, we always, you know, we focus on just being explosive, you know, just, um, I had a lot of great work out there, especially with Virgil Hunter. Um, he'll be here in, in Saturday morning. I mean, this is a big opportunity for me. I mean, and I'm excited enough to put on a great show, you know, in front of the people here in Virginia. It's my first time out here. So far, I love it. Your opponent, uh, Though he's coming off of a loss, he showed a lot of resilience in his last fight. When you watch that, 
how do you assess him as a fighter? He's hungry. I mean, that's, yeah. you know, the main thing. Um, he's tasted defeat. He doesn't want to again. And, I mean, I'm, um, I mean, for him, I'm just, you know, a blockage in his path. And, um, I mean, come Saturday night, though, I mean, he's not going to get past me. I mean, I had a great camp. I mean, I'm feeling strong. Um, I mean, I'm not a talker, so there's not much to say. But, I mean, I'm looking forward, you know, to Saturday, you know, and just put it on a show in front of everybody. Well, you don't have to do the talking here. It's on Saturday. That really matters. Juan Jose, as we, we talk just now about that loss against Regis Progre, he's now the champ. What did you take away from that loss that maybe could help you for this fight? What did you go back and work on? Is that one working? Eh, bueno, la pelea contra Progreis fue una pelea muy dura, muy complicada, en la cual me enseñó un montón, más allá de la derrota. Eh, mi objetivo eh, no es hacer una carrera sin, acá en el boxeo, sino ser campeón del mundo. Eh, me tocó enfrentarme a Progreis y, y creo que hoy por hoy me ayudó a madurar mucho en lo que es en mi pelea, en mi forma de pelear y en mi experiencia hacia el boxeo. That fight against Progres was a hard and complicated fight, but it wasn't just a career move. I want to be champion of the world. So that uh, fight showed me a lot, and it's something that I'll display on Saturday. Your opponent likes to go to the body in this one. Well, what have you worked on in terms of defense, and how are you ready for his attack? No, bueno, eh, vimos eh, algunas peleas de él. Sabemos más o menos a lo que nos estamos atendiendo y nada, trabajamos de la manera correcta para poder salir victorioso esta pelea. We definitely have seen videos on him and know what he's capable of doing and uh, to come out uh, with the victory on Saturday, we have to be well prepared. Most definitely. All right, Mr. Korobov, you've been waiting patiently down there and we'll come to you next. We saw you fight at Barclays Center in December against Jamal Charlo while you didn't come well you, well, you didn't come away with a win in that one. Do you feel as though maybe you, you showed the division that you're a force to be reckoned with? Uh, yes, of course. And um, first of all, I take it as a win in myself, you know, to motivate myself to be better. Do people know me now? And thank you guys, folks, team, to add me as a part of this great show. I'm happy to be here preparing for and it was uh, not a week notice uh, as the last fight, so I got time to prepare, to set uh, things up, to work on. And thanks to my team as well. We did a good job, good preparations and everything. So I'm just getting ready for the Saturday night. And for those who don't know, his wife is about ready to have a baby any day now. So oh, yeah. congratulations Thank on Thank that. You. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I know how stressful that can be. And being here, you know, is that is that a distraction for you? How are you managing those emotions? Um, not just control myself to be not on stress, not to think about it, you know, not pushing so hard <laughs> <laughs> to, you know, to be in any day. So I hopefully it's going to happen when I get back home with her raise up. Telling her to stay calm, keep her feet up, don't have that baby till you get home, right? All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's go down to your opponent. It's been almost a year since we've seen you in the, in the ring. In terms of your layoff, what have you been doing to keep yourself sharp? Um, make sure you don't have ring rust come Saturday night. Um, I'm with the legendary trainer of <clears throat> George Peterson, who had Paul Williams, who was a three-time world champion. So he always, <laughs> he always stressed us to, um, to train year-round. All the time we're not part-time fighters. I'm always in the gym. I'm always working. So it's nothing for me. When we have a fight, we're always prepared. What have you focused on, and, and what do you see when you look down there at, at Mr. Matt Korobov? I see another opponent. It's in my way to become a world champion. You know, we got um, Paul Williams, who's the left, who's the one of the best southpaws. So I'm not worried about that. I was going to ask you about that. You don't have a lot of experience with southpaws. So in mm -hmm. preparation for this one, did you bring in some some... Southpaws just to train with? Oh, yeah, um, came up to Baltimore, got some work with some good Southpaws, so we're ready. All right. Let's go back to Mr. Jared Hurd. I know and I've heard you say in an interview in the past that you cut 36 pounds on fight week. 
You really cut 36 pounds? Yeah, uh, that was for the Lara fight. You know, uh, I was coming off, I mean, I'm sorry, for the Wellborn fight, I was coming off surgery, and, uh, you know, I was inactive. Mm -hmm. And I was sitting at home, man, I put on some pounds. <laughs> and, uh, you know, when I got back in the gym, I think I was, I, my first time hitting the 90s. And uh, I had to cut uh, well, almost 90 if I wasn't. And I had to cut about 36 pounds. What about, what do you weigh right now? Right now I'm about like 158, maybe 158, something like that. So a little different this time around. Oh, yeah, definitely a little different. I never let myself shoot back up that high, but uh, the inactivity caused me to shoot that high. Do you eat uh, on weight? I've heard you say that you eat throughout fight week. Is that is that accurate? And will you eat tonight? Oh yeah, definitely. We know we eating all all through camp, man. I'm a big I'm a big junior middleweight, but you know I know how to cut the weight and get it off right. So we eat all throughout the whole camp, and uh, so we're gonna be we're gonna be strong come fight night. J Rock, how about you? What are you weighing right now? Uh, I, I, I much rather not say. Oh, <laughs> keeping it a secret. I like it. Do you? Wh go ahead. But I'm gonna make the weight pretty good. I'm fine. <laughs> I, I never had weight troubles. Will you eat tonight? Yes, absolutely. You will? Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Um, all right, guys, we're going we're gonna to toss things back to the studio right now. We're looking forward to an incredible night of action on Saturday night. I know there is uh, storm clouds in the forecast, lightning. Really quick before I throw it back, do you think that that's an omen? I'm sorry. Do you think that's an omen? Oh, yeah, man. Every time I fight, you know, uh, it's always a storm. I mean, you know, what they, that's what they say. I bring the storm. So, you know what I'm saying? Every time I fight, it's a storm in the building. Julian, you think that's just the weather? I don't know. What, what, do you see, what do you see when you look over at him? Can you gauge anything from him? I know you guys have had a lot of interaction. You haven't had a lot of talk. What do you see when you look over there? I, I just see a man. You know, the crowd can't fight for him, you know. I see a man. That's it. All right. There you have it. We're looking forward to a great night of action. It starts at 8 p.m. Eastern and 5 Pacific on Fox. Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.